Two lives lost as Nebraska struggles with state's worst flooding in 50 years. The bomb. In a news conference Friday, Nebraska government. Pete Ricketts, Nebraska has experienced historic flooding and extreme weather in nearly every region of the state. Today, speak this. Nebraska rescue teams have been pulling trapped residents out of floodwaters since Thursday. James Wilk, a Columbus farmer, got a call to assist a stranger, and never came home. According to CNN, it with CNN affiliate SAW reported the Nebraska Emergency Management Agency confirmed a flood-related fatality in Platte County. The mayor of Columb Cruz around Platte Valley were rescuing residents from King Lake when they were also stuck. Thanks to the for their great work with this rescue by Arlington today. Fifteen volunteers were stranded on the lake, eventually rescued themselves with the help of the Nebraska National Guard, which brought in a Black Hawk helicopter, according to CNN Affiliata. A second Nebraska man died at a hospital in Lincoln after being caught in floodwaters across the state line in Iowa, according to the Fremont County, Iowa, Sheriff's Office. The victim, all three were rescued Gallon and another man were found hanging. The car carrying the men had driven around a road-closed barrier then hit floodwaters, the sheriff's office said. The National Weather Service Iamuk Anyone Ice jams possible north of Highway 30 this weekend. Generally minor, many central Iowa rivers may see moderate flooding into next week from the rain and snow melt runoff, the weather service said. A flood warning, in Wisconsin, Darlington officials said the city broke its flooding record, since the Pecatonica River crested at 18.2 feet in 1993, according to CNN affiliate. This CNN's Holly Silverman contributed to this report.